Michelle Curtin here from mkfitpassion.com and some exciting news in our household. I'm getting ready to potty train our last um, baby. So I wanted to make sure I share this video with you before we tapped out with our cloth diapering. So this video is going to show you everything that I have learned about cloth diapering and how I've learned to make that system very, very simple. So the first thing that I want to share is that we use what's called a pocket, um, or sorry, a pre-fold diaper system. So that means that all of our cloth diapers are um, basically what's called pre-fold. So they're just flat, um, organic cotton pieces of cloth. And then we have a bunch of one size fits all covers. And I love this system because there's not any stuffing or folding. I pretty much, when these come out of the wash, I just lay them all on a stack and I actually get my eight year old to do it for me. Um, and then same thing with the covers. So for cloth diapers, I have enough diapers for three days because I find that that's the amount of time that you kind of want to wash them anyways. Um, and so you're not like washing them every day. So I actually have 24 pre-folds and I started with infant pre-folds. So that was what we used for the very, very beginning. And then we just graduated to the second size up and that's it. So infant size and then whatever size comes after that, which goes up to about 30 some pounds. Um, and then these covers, these are romper covers. I absolutely love them. I love them that they're one size fits all, which makes it super great because you're not continually buying new size covers. Um, they're fabulous without leaking. The one thing that I learned quickly is do not put them in the dryer. I put everything in the dryer except for these. You want to line dry and I can show you the little tag right there. All right, and I love that they're one size. They have a lot of snaps on them. That looks pretty intimidating at first, but that's just so you can adjust the size and it's actually very, very easy. So I have 24 pre-folds. I have, I wrote it down, how many covers? I believe I have 12, 12 covers. I have 12 covers because you can actually reuse your covers as long as they're not too wet or too soiled. And then with that, I have um, Terry Cloth wipes. And this is what I use um, you know, instead of a regular diaper wipe, and I use my homemade um, diaper wipe solution to go with this, which I have a link, I'll include a link for this on my webpage, but it's basically water with a little bit of Dr. Bronner's, a little bit of coconut oil, and just a few drops of lavender, and that works great. So these wipes are made by Grovia, I got them on Amazon, and you want about three to four dozen. So for our family, we have three dozen, let me, back, let me check that correct All right so we have about three dozen of these the reason that you might want um, four dozen is if you exclusively use cloth diaper wipes we actually use regular conventional wipes whenever he has a BM just because it just helps preserve the wipes makes them last longer and makes cleanup a lot easier so you need a little bit less cloth wipes meaning three dozen versus four um, if you're going to use um, regular wipes for the BM so what else I was going to tell you this is my wet bag. This is where you put your diapers in when you're on the go. What I love is this is made by Planet Wise. It's actually a two compartment diaper bag. I love that, or wet bag, because in the front part is where I keep um, about three wipes at a time, two pre-full diapers, one cover, and then I keep a little bit of my diaper wipe solution in it on the go. All right, and then the other section after you change your diaper, then it just goes in here. So this is made by Planet Wise. I love it and I highly recommend the two pocket system and I would recommend having two of these bags. After you change the diaper, it's going to go and this is just a regular trash can that you line with a reusable, um, I guess trash liner you would say, and I have two of these. So this will go in the wash with the diaper after I change it. So let's say if it's a, um, a, just a regular pee diaper, that whole thing goes in here. The wipes, the liner, the pre everything. If it's um, a number two diaper, then what I do is I change them and I take the diaper to the, um, to the toilet. I dump the solids in the toilet. I rinse it out with a little water from the toilet. And then I carry it in the liner back to put it in here. And then to do all that, I have some rubber gloves. It's really easy though, seriously, you just drop the BM in the toilet, rinse a little bit in the water. It does not have to be perfectly clean, just most of the solids removed, dump it in here, no big deal. Very, very simple. So when I am down to just a few diapers, I am ready to do wash. And what I do is I just pull this bag out, 
I take it to my um, washing machine and I throw everything in, the liner, everything, make sure it empties out into the washing machine. I do one normal cycle on cold water and then um, I do a second cycle on hot, so it's normal but I bump the temperature to hot and I do one more, I have a what's called a quick a quick cycle and I do that on hot as well. If you don't have a quick cycle mode then I would do just two hot normal cycles. And what I use to wash my diapers is I use Econuts. And I actually use these for all our clothes. So these are amazing. You can get them on Amazon. They're totally, um, they, they're biodegradable. They're great for the environment. They're safe for the diapers. Four nuts go in a bag. The bag goes in with a wash. And I start this on the hot cycle. I don't put it in for the first cold cycle. Um, and I actually use these all for my clothes as well. One more thing I wanted to mention is when you do cloth diapering, you have to use a special type of diaper cream, and I absolutely love the Scrobia stick. My friend told me about it. It works really well. Um, it's super cheap. Amazon has it, and it's my favorite. And we're almost done. The last thing I just want to show you is how we do the pre-folds really quickly. All right, so my son's outside. We figured this would be easier without him. Um, just... Um, so we could do the video quietly. Basically, you lay, you start the diaper on the middle of their back, all right? And then all you're going to do is you're going to pinch in, and this pinching in is going to allow the diaper to go in between their legs. Once it's pinched in, you fold it up, all right? So that's it. And then you have excess fabric, so you just fold it back, all right? And then you bring in the sides, bring in one side, bring in the other side, all right? So you pinch in, you bring in the sides, and then you use what's called a snappy. These come in a pack, and these have little teeth. So you grab the edges on one side, grab the teeth on the other side, pin it down. And then underneath, or over top of that, you put your waterproof liner. All right, so I'm going to put this up. And the biggest, biggest, most important thing to do is after you snap it to the appropriate size, the only thing that really matters, seriously, even if you don't get the pre-fold folding right, is that it's all tucked in around the legs, around the back. Even if you don't have a snappy, even if it's not folded correctly in the inside or whatever way you're trying to fold it, it does not matter as long as it's tucked in. And you got a happy kid. Um, the last thing I was going to share with you is that when they're babies, um, if you find that they're not sleeping through the night with, um, you know, the diaper just gets too wet, I actually, I don't have them right now because they're in storage, but I have hemp inserts that you insert into the middle of the diaper. But what happens is after, at a certain point, even those hemp inserts I found weren't keeping him dry enough at night. So at nighttime, when he got a little bit bigger, we actually switched to conventional diapers just for the nighttime diaper because the hemp inserts weren't working so much anymore. But I did use those for a while in the very beginning. So hopefully this is helpful. This is kind of like everything that we've learned about cloth diapering. I highly, highly recommend using pre-fold diapers and um, one size fits all covers. It makes it so much cheaper and we've really had a lot of fun with it. Hopefully you find this helpful. Like this video. Feel free to share it with friends. Have a great day, friends. Bye.